feel the blood creeping up from the heathens. Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason. If they want to go eat, then you know I'm going to feed them. If you're coming for me. The city of Philadelphia is one of rich history and passion, and you can always count on the ladder when you step inside Lincoln Financial Field. Today, it's a Week 14 matchup that should be a good one between the Houston Texans and the Philadelphia Eagles. Brandon Gunn and Charles Davis on hand here. CD, you look at the Texans in this matchup, and this is going to be a heck of a chess match. This offense against the defense, it will take no prisoners out there. It's going to be a big-time battle, and I think that both of these teams have that mindset of, we're going to do what we do and make the other guys react to us. And we've definitely got a couple of headstrong coordinators who won't back down from a challenge. So this will be a battle of wits as much as it'll be a battle of brawn. of the NFL season are complete. What lurks in our final month? We're underway in week 14. Fields it right around the goal line. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. So now here comes the Eagles offense as they get ready to take over. And they will be led out by their second-year quarterback. I tell you what, when he's on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He finds his man complete. That's Davidson. Play action fake. They'll look to throw. Got an open man here, and it's K.J. Hamler. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. On play action, they'll throw. He gets this one to Davis Price. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. First carry now for the LSU alum, Ty Davis Price. And not much there at all. Maybe a yard up to the 43. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. And incomplete on the deep ball. 
And third down is a key down in any game you play. And third down defense, something we've got to watch in this one. Got to be effective on the passing downs. That's a pretty good first step right there. Yeah, last week in the loss, five punts as he gets this one away. Just a 25-yard punt. Okay. Not what he was hoping for by any stretch. And out will come the offense as they take over. So out come the Texans for their opening drive. And trotting out there, their tall quarterbacks, Dana gets 6-5. And he's had a great season so far throwing the football. Very likely could go over 4,000 yards with a good performance here. And even in an age of passing first, that is no small accomplishment. They'll start on the ground with Pierce, and he'll get this to the 32. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Back to throw. Thomas. He'll get that underneath ETN. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. To throw is Thomas. Off the play fake. And this one is incomplete. The Texans send the punter out as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. He punted five times in the win last week as this one's away. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it will be Eagles football first and ten. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. The last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and ten. Drive begins with a carry by Davis Price. And not a whole lot to speak of there as they'll bring him down shy of the 20. Looking to throw. And this hole incomplete. He tried to check it down to his running back and nearly had the ball picked. On third down, he'll drop to throw. He'll air this one out for Kirk. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. Now a fair catch called for and made right on the 45-yard line. 31 yards on the punt there. And they will take over first and 10. So now we get set to see Houston for their second drive of the ball game. And on the first drive, three and out. And I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically, what I've heard from guys and what I remember from Glenn, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Off play action, Thomas. And he rifles one incomplete. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. Off the play fake, Thomas. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. Again, he'll drop to throw. Being and a big loss here as he's taken the Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Well, how about that? A dime set on defense, six defensive backs. None of them blitz. They're just back there in coverage. Defensive lineman gets the sack. That's where the O-line, they go to the sideline, they keep the, their helmets on so the cameras can't find them, right? Yeah, the cameras can't find them, but I know one thing, the O-line coach will. The Texans send the punter out as he'll kick it away for the second time. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. 
And a great job here. This is going to turn out to be a beauty. This is marked down at about the three-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. They'll start with Davis Price on the ground. And he's upended at the six as they double their room to maneuver on a pickup of three. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Toward the sideline, and that is a nice catch as he's able to tiptoe his way out of bounds. They'll set up a throw. He rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked up by Denzel Ward. And the Texans are going to take possession of the football. And they'll take possession already in the red zone and in a great spot to add points to the scoreboard. And, Brandon, how many times have we seen a defense with a lot of field behind them get even more aggressive, right? They feel like they've got them not pinned down, but in a favorable spot for them. And they took advantage of it there. Got a nice interception and set up their offense in great shape. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Thomas. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And that'll make it second down. Looking to throw. Thomas. And yeah, this all incomplete. He tried to check it down to his running back and nearly had the ball picked. Thomas from the gun on third down. And it's caught. Touchdown, Texans. Sky Moore, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Texans take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. It's never fun for a defense to run on the field knowing that they're having to defend a short field. Just the idea of trying to limit an offense in that position, daunting for a defense. Harrison Bunker is on for the extra point. And the Texans take a 7-0 lead. The drive there only spanning three plays. And it was Sky Moore capping things off with a touchdown reception. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. As the offense comes out here, Charles, uh, maybe perhaps a bit more of a focus on the run game for this drive after tossing an interception on the previous one? I think that's a good way to look at it and a good way to think about it, but maybe they get to it in a little bit different way because after you throw an interception, you want to make sure you keep your quarterback's confidence high. So maybe give him a couple easy throws that he can complete and then get to the running game and try and get things settled down. Yeah, it's still in the first half here, a long way to go. I don't know what this says about me, but I love successful runs up the middle when the blocking is so well executed like that. And it doesn't matter whether it's zone blocking, whether it's a power scheme. When you have a blocker on a defender and then the running back can read it, find the proper hole and just go, it's sometimes a thing of beauty. Now a throw here to his running back. Second and seven operating from the 34. They're going to look to throw. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Back to throw here. That's going to be caught by Kirk. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early in the first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. 
Two first downs have him up to the 41 now for first and 10. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. They're going for Hammer, but this is intercepted. Picked up by Denzel Ward. And they will score a pick six for the Texans TD. Well, mistake there by the offense, Charles. They tried to pick on a Pro Bowl corner in coverage there, and not the smartest decision. He reminded him that he was a Pro Bowl corner <laughs> with not only the pick, but the pick six. And those guys who have that designation, sometimes they get a little bit bored in games because people try to avoid them. They absolutely love it when they get challenged, and it's a chance to remind everyone exactly why they were tagged as one of the best in the league the prior season. Extra point by Butker is on target, and that'll make the score 14 to zip. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. They find themselves in a good size hole here, in a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down. Davis Price on first and 10. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Part of their struggles last week was getting these negative plays on first and second down. That's something they have to be wary of as this game continues. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. He'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. And this passing game's whole offense really didn't show up in the loss last week, and it hasn't started all that great here either. Yeah, and they can't let that incompletion become an uh-oh moment. Like, oh boy, here we go again, just like last week. Each game is its own entity, treated as such. And he's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds. So a big call there. That brings up fourth. And he's getting a workout here in this first quarter as he gets it away. Oh, able to avoid him. Officially just 27 yards there on the punt. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and 10 on the short side of the field. On first down, Thomas dancing to his left. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Throwing again, Thomas. That's complete. Terry McLaurin with it. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. And he's top five in the league in terms of receiving yardage because of plays like that. What have you seen from him on film that you like so much? Well, I'll strip away everything else and get to what we call the moment of truth. When the ball's arriving and there's a defender there, he just comes down with the ball. He competes and takes it away. Great hands, great ability to finish the catch. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Off play action. Thomas. Look at right sideline. That's complete. And they are able to stop it, but he does take it all the way to the two. A good pickup there. 26 yards. Man coverage on the left side, so I really like the design of this play because they opened up the field and brought their tight end the other way on a crossing route. That's a lot of ground to cover if you're a defender. I've been there before, unable to stay with his man there. They'll run here with Pierce. And he is not going to get through here on try number one. They stop him at the goal line. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Texans football to start quarter two. Two of their three red zone trips so far they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. And they're going to 
get to him. A sack. Sack back at the nine-yard line. The coverage good. The pressure good. Leads to the sack. And it's third and goal now. When you're this close to the goal line, you've got to expect pressure from the defense. So the ball's got to come out fast. Got to get out of his hands quicker. The Texans on third down, just one for three thus far. They're looking at a third and goal here. Back to throw, Thomas. And got his man, it's caught. Touchdown, Houston. Terry McLaurin, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Texans take a three-touchdown lead. Well, I don't think that we're ready yet to say the route is on, but they have certainly looked near flawless here in this first half, and now an extra point away from making it 21-0. Yeah, and your experience led you to say that because we have both seen those 21 to nothing leads come and go in this league, but this one feels pretty darn secure, and here's the other part. Even when people chip away at it, it forces you into being almost perfect on the other side, doesn't it, in order to try to mount a comeback. Extra point by Butker is on target, and that makes the score 21 to Zim. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. And out now come the Eagles. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores, and I know we're in the first half, but the way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession, but I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit, and if they don't score here, that's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Now back to throw. Working the sideline here. Did he get the feet in? Yes, they say that he did. Nice job tapping both of them down. And now some disagreement down on that sideline. The red flag is out, and we're going to get a challenge. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. Shotgun and then a handoff to Davis Price. Yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. Back to throw now on second and 10. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. They'll look to throw. This is Hamler on the receiving end. And he'll be brought down at the 34, well short of the first down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks, don't let them get there, and they've rallied and made the tackle. The Eagles send out their punter now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the Texans will take over with a first and 10. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. And they may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. When he runs, he seems to do a nice job of knowing when to be patient and find the hole. And then when the hole is there, he goes quickly. You're exactly right. He knows how to just take off. But you know what else? Brings a little thump with him, doesn't he? He does. He packs the boom at the end of the run and finishes it going forward. That's what you want to see out of your backs. Here's Thomas. 
That's complete. It's Okuebunam. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he could break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Working with a second and four. Operating from the gun, Thomas. Open man here is Conklin. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. A gain there of 21 yards. Let's just call it what it is. This has been a flat-out struggle for this defense all game long. They've really had a hard time slowing them down. And while I'm not big on speeches and guys jumping up and down, they might need their team leader on defense to get in their face right now and light a fire under these guys. They've got to start playing better assignment football and start getting guys on the ground. Throwing on first down, but this one lines up to be incomplete. On second and ten, Thomas. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Back to throw again. Going for it all. And that is caught. Touchdown, Texans. Sky Moore with his second TD of the game, his sixth on the year. And the Texans are able to widen their lead here in this first half. Well, you talk about a team coming into an opposing stadium and just taking the life right out of a crowd. That's what we're witnessing here. 27 nothing, Charles. And this defense, they've just looked completely unprepared for what's been thrown at them. And you know they're supposed to adjust series to series. That has not happened for them. So I don't think halftime adjustments are going to help a heck of a lot. They are in major trouble unless they figure out something really fast. Extra point by Butker is on target. And a route is on here in this first half. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. Philadelphia's offense ready to give us another look. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. Well, it looked like the defense, they were ready for that one. Really left him almost no room to work after catching the ball. He could throw every move in the book at him. They were there, and they tackle him for a loss. Second down, here's Davis Price. Give him two yards that time, and it's going to leave him with a third and 11 situation. He'll drop to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Powell. And he will not get what he needed as he stops short of the first down and around the 22. That one good for only six, and it leaves him with a fourth down. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down, they just said, we've got faith in our tacklers. We'll give you the short stuff, and just decided to protect the sticks. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, plays like that, I can clip and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Just 34 yards on the punt there.